Hi guys. Well, I finished my beautiful scarf. Or wrap, I guess you call it. It's a little wider than a scarf. I did it with a lot of um, bulky and um, super bulky yarns. I don't know if you can focus in on there or not, but it's... Let's try to go back. Isn't that pretty? The yellow is like one of those velvet yarns. The green has alpaca and acrylic. The rust has uh, wool and acrylic. Anyway, I got my fringe on the bottom. But now I'm going to do the edge. I did this edge already. If you can see. And I, I took it off the loom without doing my slip stitch. So I did it after I took it off the loom, which seemed to be a little easier in this case because it's so thick. This edge needs to be slip stitched. So we're going to go and get set up and show you how I do it. Okay, so hold tight and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now when i i took this off first and then i did the slip stitch afterwards i've shown videos with taking it off the loom with the slip stitch you know directly right off the loom i thought in this case since it's such a heavy fabric it might be easier for me to just um, do it afterwards and then i chose a little bit bigger hook than i did last time this one is a an l you probably can't see it in the light here but it's a little bit fatter here and it seems to be working better um, because this is bulky and super bulky yarns and what you need to do is you start because this is a rectangle it's a 20 by 60 the top left corner is the one where I start and so I'm going to have a tail here and I want to use that tail when I get done going across. So I always start my slip stitching on the right end because it doesn't have the tail. So I started here and went all the way down. So in this case, um, I am going to have to turn my, my scarf around because I used this side was up. When I did this edge, I want I want the V's to look like they are on the same side. So I'm going to use this side up. So I need to take my my whole uh, scarf and just turn it so that this I can keep this side up. So this end needs to go to the other end. This needs to go to this end, and. We will start on this corner. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm out in the sun. I don't know if it's too bright. I'm going to try that. I'm trying a new way to do a camera connected kind of to my neck here. So if I sound like I'm right on top of you, I probably am. Okay. So I put this marker in the, the corner hole of the top right corner of my loom. That's where the nail was right there. I already added my fringe on, so I used that hole already, which is fine. I'm gonna take my hook and I'm gonna go in that hole. And all I need to do is find the next loop. The loop there, the loop. these were all on the nails. Once you, you are in this hole, you're going to kind of hold on to it with your finger because it's going to want to slide. And you just go into that next hole, pull this loop over your first loop. So you only have one on your hook. So now we're going to go to the next one and pull that one through. And go to the next one and pull that one through i'm going to go down a little bit more so that you can see what's happening here there's one there's another one 
I've got to kind of pull on it a little bit to make it work. I hope I'm close enough that you can see what I'm doing. We had a lot of rain and we finally got some sunshine and I thought I'd come out here and take advantage of the light. It's been kind of dark there for a while, those rain clouds. Okay, there we go. Let's get up to the yellow one and then I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a yellow one. See, I've got two of them here. This velvet yarn is really sweet, but once it makes a knot, <laughs> can't get it out. So you got to really, um, you got to do, do this as quickly as you can before it wants to knot itself into something. Okay, come on, go through there. There's, you can do it. There, okay, got it. Make sure that you pull this, um, the loop all the way up to the shoulder of this crochet hook because this is the neck and it gets skinny here. And if you keep working right in this area, they're going to be that diameter around and it's going to be real tight. So you want to make sure you slide it up to this end. Okay, so there's that one. So I'm going to hold on to that and show you what the edge looks like. See the edge now? Am I too close? Okay. So here, maybe I can go just a little closer. So that gives you that foundation again um, to do a crochet edge if you want to. You can leave it alone. Um, but it does make it look a lot more stable than this edge. I mean, that's fine if you just have a scarf and it's soft and you want it around your neck and don't worry about the fuzzy edges. Um, that's that's great to leave it alone. It's not going to hurt anything at all. I like doing this just because I feel like it's finished. I don't know. That's just me. So I'm going to keep doing this and I will continue down and I will come back when it's completed to show you what it looks like. Okay, so hang tight. Okay, I made it all the way to the other end. I went all the way down and I'm at the very end now at the top left corner. Well, and no, because I turned it around, this would actually be the bottom right corner, but it doesn't matter. We got to the corner of my rectangle and I'm going to do the last few stitches here. Let's move in a little bit more so you can see what's going on. So we're going to go in that. The next nail loop, next nail loop, go through, a little snug right here. Okay, I have the uh, marker in the last loop, and I also have a uh, fringe tied on there. So I'm going to go back to normal. There we go. What you do is take this apart and we're going to pull the strands through this last loop. Since we don't have anything to tie this off with, I am just going to take my, my uh, fringe piece out of here and go through one more. Go through that piece. It's kind of was a placeholder for it. Okay, I have two of them on here. They're a little snug, but I gotta pull that through. Okay, now I'm gonna take my piece of fringe and well, let's see. I want to put the loop. Let me go the other way with it. I need to go this way with it. If I want all the bumps to go the same way. Okay, there's my piece. There we go. Pull that through. There. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I hope I'm doing it okay. There you go. See, I want to have this little loop 
on the top because these loops are on the top. Okay, so that ties off your end. So now you have this nice edge all the way down. Yeah, let's see if I can bring it out a little farther so you can see. See how nice it looks now? Okay. So now you have two edges that have this nice edge on them. And I am all finished for now. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope that helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.